Probably not very difficult. They're a lot easier than a lot easier to turn. Assuming I'm going right, no problem. Uh, Alright, uh, we got our 67, 78, two of them down there. Two, our two longer ones that are what? 71, three quarters, something like that. Two of the 67, 78 right here. There's one, one 28, so the other one's tied. Two of the 21, so the other two are tied. That's going to be our top. 28. 21, and we'll be in the center. Bottom. I can't do anything with no tape and no tape. Probably on the other side. Must be. They're not on this side or in the front. Anyway, uh, let's see how tall the door actually is with 28 inch piece on top. From the end of the door leg to the top. Oh, uh, I got 71 and a half. Half of that is what? 35, 35, 70 and a half, 70 and mm, 48, 5, 60, something like that. What is that? Hey. 31. <laughs> 35. 35 of what? 35 and 3 eighths, I think. What's more 35 and 3 eighths? See how close the turn is. 35 and 3 eighths. Well, that was all. More 35 and 3 eighths again. See what the difference is. One half inch. I need 35 and 5 eighths. Close. Really close. 35 and 11 16 to do. 35 and 11 16 to the center. I'm going to mark that up real quick. 35 and 11. I'm going to center off that three and a half inches. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. Now I'm getting true measurements off the bottom. I'll call that 34 and 37 and a half off the bottom. We're going 34 and 37 and a half off the bottom. Sheets are laid, see how our sheets are laid out? They're laid out exactly how they go. That's top of our door. This top of our sheet. We're going to mark the top corner. Top. Outside corner. Just so we'll know exactly where it's at. The top outside. It's all good. It's just a mark. Uh, make sure you see the end mark. Look, we have the underlap right here. We have the overlap right here. The right hand door will open for us. We'll start with the other lap door. Pick it up just like that by the lap. Upside down. The mark we just made on the ground is right here. And this can be done with little small screws. I was going to do it with small screws. We're a little bit more pressed for time right now. I'm using a quarter inch narrow crown stapler. Staples no longer than seven eighths in an inch. One inch will go through. Seven eighths is my ideal fastness for this. Uh, same thing with you can use felt screws just as, just as easily. Uh, when I first started building these, I didn't have a stapler. I used uh, <coughs> I used a uh, 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 little sixteen gauge nails that were seven eighths long. And we're actually going to do bottom for the We're doing the back side first. 
wash it up to the edge of the heat. I'll go up uh, maybe a quarter inch off the bottom of the sheet. Flush on the back side. This one's bowed out a little and this one's bowed right back in. Um, and, uh... All right, we'll hit her feet. All right, I'll get one. I got a measurement wrong somewhere. So we'll definitely have to figure that out. I have a little lap right here. I'll make something wrong with my feet. Pause. I'll do that. Yeah, I did check it. Yeah, I can't do that. Man, we gotta fall. I'm gonna have to do doors on a different shed now, though. I just messed this up. I'm not having the right measurements. That's slow. Well, I felt my heat falling back in. So, it is what it is. I can't fix it. You know, I can fix it for this, but I can't fix it properly. Flush there and flush at the top. Okay. okay. Ideally, you'd rather have it a little tall at the top. Or, the, the, you know, the, uh, the trim itself. It allows for a lap to do uh, a better lap situation for final product. Flush right here, tack right there, two staples. We're flushing this up to the outside and up right to this header piece. And then all oh, this right here should be really good for one right up down here. We get a few more staples in, make sure it doesn't fall apart. so we won't have to move the camera. But what I want is the edge will be on the left. A little bit off. We're going to bang it around some right now.
down when I cut that guy, I think. Alright, what we're aiming for really is to have the joint right there in a straight line with that lap on it. What I'm going to do is grab the crap piece and tap it around. I had a bad measurement when I cut the board. Yeah. I haven't done it so long. Well.